Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the 2022 Lending Tree Bowl is between the Rice Owls and the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, Rice is 5-7 and seven and 3-5 and five in Conference USA this season, and they're making this bowl game because they were the top team that was 5-7 and seven in academics. You get rewarded as the top academic school with a 5-7 and seven record, and you're able to make a bowl game. And Mike Bloomgren, a head coach, he had struggles with Rice in his tenure. They haven't really gotten anything going there. But at least this year, they had a 5-7 and seven record, and since they had great academics, they were able to make this bowl game. But they've had a pretty up-and-down season. And in Week 1, they lost at USC 66-14. to They had absolutely no shot in that game. But then they bounced back and beat McNeese State 52-10. to And then they beat Louisiana Lafayette 33-21. to That was a pretty decent win. Then they lost at Houston 34-27. to Tough loss there. Then they beat UAB 28-24. to And that was a good win because UAB's made a bowl game as well. Then they lost at Florida Atlantic 17-14. to That was a tough loss. Then they won at Louisiana Tech 42-41 to in overtime. Their defense didn't really show up to play in that game. Then they lost to Charlotte 56-23 at home. That was a terrible loss. Then they beat UTEP 37-30. Pretty decent win there. Then they lost at Western Kentucky 45-10. Then they lost to UTSA 41-7. And then they lost at North Texas 21-17 to finish the season at 5-7. And, and Rice has had an up-and-down season. They've had some games where they've played pretty decently. But in other games, they've had massive struggles on both sides of the ball. And quarterback A.J. Padgett, he's 20-40 of 40 for 339 yards and two touchdowns and interception and 20 rushing yards this season for Rice but their starting quarterback TJ McMahon he's hurt and he's more than likely not going to play in this bowl game and he hasn't been completely ruled out but he's more than likely not going to play so quarterback AJ Pageant we don't have much to go off of with him he's a decent quarterback he's not super explosive in the passing game but he's able to do some things he doesn't really run either but he at least will be able to give Rice a quarterback that might not make too many mistakes and give Rice a chance to win Running back Cameron Montgomery has been the leading back this year. He has 86 rushes for 498 yards and no touchdowns and eight receptions for 75 receiving yards. He's had a pretty good season, but no touchdowns is really alarming for an offense that's already had some struggles in the passing game, especially now that their starting quarterback TJ McMahon's out hurt. So Rice is going to have to get more production from the run game if they're going to be able to win this bowl game. Wide receiver Bradley Rosner has 41 receptions for 834 yards and nine touchdowns, and wide receiver Luke McCaffrey has 51 receptions for 656 yards and six touchdown both are very solid wide receivers and they've had good seasons for rice and on the defense side of the ball linebacker chris conti is 69 total tackles 26 solo tackles a sack and a forced fumble and defensive back gabe taylor's 55 total tackles 35 solo tackles two interceptions and a forced fumble for rice this season and rice's defense and offense are both inconsistent i wouldn't say either side of the ball is necessarily good or bad but they've just been very inconsistent all season now on the Southern Miss side, they're six and six and four and four in the Sun Belt, their new conference this season. And Will Hall's done a decent job at head coach. But like Rice, Southern Miss has had an up and down season because at certain times this season they played well, but at other times they've really struggled this season as well. But at least they went six and six and were able to make a bowl game. And in week one, they lost to Liberty at home 29 to 27 in four overtimes. That was a tough loss to start the season, but at least it was a close competitive game against a pretty decent team. Then they lost at Miami 30 to 7. That was a tough loss. Then they beat Northwestern State 64 to 10. Then they won at Tulane 27 to 24, and that was their best win of the season. Yes, Tulane had a little bit of a hangover after the Kansas State win, but still a really good performance from Southern Miss to get a win over a ranked team. Then they lost at Troy 27 to 10. Then they beat Arkansas State 20 to 19. Then they won at Texas State 20 to 4. And then Southern Miss beat Louisiana Lafayette 39 to 24. So they had a really good stretch run here. But then they lost to Georgia State 42 to 14. And then they lost at Coastal Carolina 26 to 23. They lost to South Alabama 27 to 20. And then they bounced back and beat Louisiana Monroe 20 to 10 on the road to finish 6-6 six and six to be able to make a bowl game. So yes, Southern Miss started to struggle toward the end of the season, but they've had a decent season overall, but just not very consistent. At times they play well, and at times they have not played very well. And quarterback Trey Lowe's 55-103 for 795 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. He split time the season with quarterback Zach Wilkie. Both quarterbacks have been inconsistent, but Trey Lowe, he does turn the ball over too much. He has more interceptions and touchdowns, but besides that, he's not a terrible quarterback. He needs to keep the turnovers at a minimum to help Southern Miss win this bowl game. Running back Frank Gore Jr. has 207 in rushing attempts for 1,053 yards and seven touchdowns, 172 passing yards and three touchdowns, and 219 receiving yards on 19 receptions. He's Southern Miss's best player. 
Obviously, he's the son of Frank Gore, and he's had a fantastic season this year. He even passes the ball for Southern Miss because they do struggle in the passing game. He does so much for their offense, and he's definitely their best overall player. And wide receiver Jason Brownlee, 52 receptions for 819 yards and 7 touchdowns. And wide receiver Jakar is cast into 27 receptions for 352 yards and 4 touchdowns. Southern Miss has decent offensive players, and they've had a decent season on offense, but they're just very inconsistent. And on the defense side of the ball, defensive back Malik Shorts and 92 total tackles, 50 solo tackles, and 3 interceptions. And linebacker Santrell Latham at 80 total tackles, 32 solo tackles, and two forced fumbles. Southern Miss's defense is not bad, but like Rice, both sides of the ball for Southern Miss are just inconsistent. Their offense and their defense have had times of playing well, but they've also had times they've played poorly, and that's also why both these teams are hovering around the 500 mark. For Rice, a little below, and Southern Miss 6-6, six and six, because both teams have just been inconsistent all season. So who do I think is going to win the Lending Tree Bowl? Both teams have been inconsistent this season, and their records and numbers on offense and defense reflect that. Both teams have had decent games, and both teams have had games where they've struggled on both sides of the ball. I think Rice has a pretty decent offense, especially in the passing game, but unfortunately for Rice, their starting quarterback's hurt, and that's going to be a big reason why they're going to have a hard time winning this game, because their backup quarterback's going to have to play, because Rice really struggles to run the ball, and I think that's going to help with Southern Miss, because all they have to do is really stop the pass and blitz the backup quarterback, and that's going to be really tough Rice to overcome. I think Rice's defense will play well in this game, even though their defensive numbers are a little bit worse than Southern Miss. I think that's partially due to the fact that they've played so many teams with great offenses, so I don't think that necessarily means Rice's defense is worse than Southern Miss's. I think Southern Miss's defense is pretty decent as well, but I think that the difference in this game is going to be that Southern Miss has a healthy team versus Rice does not have their starting quarterback, and I think that Southern Miss actually has had better results this season. You look at what they've done in conference and out of conference, they've played better this season, and even having that one over two lane. Rice has played well at times this season too, but they don't really have that marquee win. Their best win's probably over UAB. I just think Southern Miss is a little bit better of a team overall. And I'm going to go with Southern Miss to beat Rice in the Lending Tree Bowl 28-24. to I think Rice can win this game. They have decent players on both sides of the ball, but the injury of their quarterback's really going to hurt. Mike Bloomgren at head coach is really going to have to find a way to get his team ready to play this game without their starting quarterback and find a way to win. I think that Rice is going to show up to play because they're happy that they were able to make a bowl game even though they were 5-7 and seven due to academics. But I think Southern Miss, Will Hall's got a really solid team on both sides of the ball, even though Southern Miss really struggles to throw the ball as well, just like Rice. I think Frank Gore Jr. is going to be the difference in this game. He's going to be the best player that either team has on the field in this bowl game. He's a fantastic player for Southern Miss, and I think Southern Miss is going to use him in a lot of different ways. And I think Southern Miss is going to be able to score just a little bit more than Rice, and I think Southern Miss's defense is going to be able to stop Rice's backup quarterback just enough. And I think Southern Miss is going to beat Rice 28-24 to in the Lending Tree Bowl. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below comment down below whether you think Southern Miss or Rice is going to be able to win the Lending Tree Bowl and why and I'll see you next time